Good evening, folks. The sun threw a bit of a tantrum today. The northern active region of sunspots we've been monitoring for days has produced several M-class solar flares, and it's showing little signs of stopping here as night falls in the United States. In 131 angstroms, we see the X-ray flare events coming from the northern complex of umbral magnetic fields connecting the sunspots. In 193 angstroms, we see the coronal plasma and the ejection that occurred with the first and one of the subsequent eruptions. Right now, Earth is taking two kinds of low-level radiation bombardment. The X-ray solar flares are exciting the ionosphere, extending out from the solar noon position, and the flares excited the interplanetary magnetic fields connecting Earth and Sun, driving a high-energy proton radiation storm at the poles. Luckily, it is low-level, won't go higher unless bigger eruptions occur, striking that same magnetic connection between the Earth and Sun. The coronal mass ejection off the first flare came out as expected as a halo CME on coronagraphs, with stereo A showing little doubt as to the Earth-directed trajectory of the plasma cloud. The enlil spiral from NASA was updated quickly this morning to show that eruption and impact, both NASA and NOAA forecasting impact on March 31st, Thursday. The satellites are updating now. To show the second eruption is a halo cloud as well, with stereo A confirming we've got two on the way. A double impact scenario is always something to watch for. Luckily, these are two relatively mid-sized solar events. Even if they were to hit in perfect succession to amplify their effects, there's unlikely to be more than minor electrical issues, if at all. The most obvious effect will be auroral enhancement. The caveat is that the sunspots are still active and pounding out these flares. We'll update tomorrow. Be safe, everyone.